Hello and welcome to Dickie Thomas's Online Theater. I'm Dickie Thomas. Today I want to talk to you about two things. Number one, microwave potatoes. And two, tater bowling. Now what is tater bowling? Tater bowling is one of those things you engage in when you're semi-retired and your wife is out of the house. But before we engage in tater bowling, we must change glasses. These are reading glasses, they are not tater bowling glasses. So these are the official authorized tater bowling glasses. Now, before we get into microwave potatoes, let's play tater bowling, okay? Come on, that's great, you love it. It's great, <laughs> oh man. Once taters are in position, they're ready for action. Ready for tater bowling. Now once you've selected your tater pins, you need to select your tater bowl. Now I've chosen this one because it looks the most menacing. Also, it's the most uniform. That's really important. You need it to roll true so it doesn't go to the right or to the left. That's very important. Now it is important to have the proper grip for tater bowling. Four fingers in front, thumb on top, just above the eyes. And you step one step back, one step forward, Now here we have in the potato drawer in my pantry our white potatoes. Very large white potatoes. The importance of the potato, the size of the potato, determines the amount of time that you cook it in the microwave. And I'll show you how to do that. Now here we have two times potatoes. The reason I say that is there's two different sizes, so they take two different times. The large potato, eight minutes. The smaller potato, six minutes. But first, we need to wash them. Why do we wash them? Because they come out of the ground and they have dirt on them. You don't want to eat dirty potatoes. So we'll wash them. So we'll put these potatoes in the sink. Now you can scrub them a couple of ways. Some people have a brush. I use a green scrub pad. You can use your hands. But I like to use a scrub pad because it gets all the dirt, all the grime off that you might miss scrubbing it by hand. If you don't have to scrub hard, just give it a good real quick scrub. One after another. Now you use you don't use the same scrub pad, green scrub pad that you wash your dishes with. You use the same scrub pad for your potatoes only. That way you don't transfer any bacteria onto uh, your food from the scrub pad that you use for your dishes. Just use one scrub pad for your potatoes only. There you go. Now, once you've scrubbed them, place them on a towel like that. And you just pat them dry. I like to roll them. Roll them like that. Roll them in and roll them. Nice and dry. All right. Cool. Not totally dry, but you don't have any wet water on them. Water is wet. So now, now 
Now I've decided just to cook the six minute potato in the microwave and before I do that I make holes or vents in the potato to release any moisture inside the potato while it's cooking. That way it doesn't explode in the microwave and you don't want that. This explodes in my microwave. My wife comes home my film career is over. So there you go. You have the vents in the potato and now like I say this is a six minute potato so we're going to put the potato in the microwave for six minutes. Now we're going to put the potato in the microwave on a paper towel so that it will pick up all the moisture that exudes from the a potato while it's cooking. Now there's a six minute potato and here's the secret. You set your timer full power on your microwave six minutes. Now the secret is after it's cooked for six minutes you leave it in the microwave for six minutes. If it's a six minute potato in the microwave you take it out six minutes later. It waits. If it's an eight minute potato in the microwave it's eight minutes and there's a reason for that and I'll show you when we're all done. And we'll go do something else. Now you are asking yourself why does this man have a bowl of sliced carrots and a package of baby spinach on his counter? Well, because eating a potato by itself is just plain boring. So I'm going to add some color and some nutrition to my potato. I'm adding a bowl of sliced carrots in water and then later on I'm going to add some spinach, baby spinach. I'm going to saute them together but not before I place this bowl of sliced carrots into the microwave for three minutes. Now the potato is to cook for six minutes and sit for six minutes. So for the, for the first three minutes I stop the microwave and place this container of sliced carrots into the microwave for three minutes and that will tenderize the carrots. Now to get my spinach ready for sauteing I want to rinse it off first. So I'm using this handy little washer here. That's about enough spinach. Put the lid on. Like that. Run the water right in this area right here. And I just spin it around. I spin and I spin and I spin. And I get tired. I go that way. That way I don't get dizzy. And how long? Well, when you get bored, this way again, water spraying all over the place, that's great. Cool, you go fast, you go slow, I like going fast. You stop the water, and then, this is how you drain your spinach. Just like that. Works better than the washing machine in a spin cycle. Because whenever I put spinach in the washing machine, oh, what a mess. This way I don't have to explain to my wife why there's spinach in the washing machine. There you go. Spin cycle. Round, around, around she goes. Like that. Now I'm going to let that drain while I take my carrots out because they're ready to saute. And I'll put them all together. Now we're ready to add the carrots. But before that, you see our pan's nice and hot. I'm going to add some olive oil. Add a sprayer. 
saute the carrots first because they are a little hard. And so they will take longer to saute than the spinach. Spinach just takes a matter of minutes. So while this is sauteing, that, that potato is still cooking. See this potato, the reason I put the potato, leave the potato in for six more minutes after microwaving it for six minutes is because it will continue to cook. And that's my little secret, at least I think it is, or my little tip for making a really nice microwave potato that isn't hard on the inside, nice and fluffy. So while these carrots are sautéing, that potato is still baking. So we'll take a few minutes on this, and then I'll add the. I will add the spinach last because, it, like I say, it cooks really, really fast. Now I'm going to add my spinach right alongside those carrots. Get that going. Now as I mentioned, the spinach cooks rather fast. So this won't take long at all, and at the same time, my carrots are still cooking. That's going to be great. Okay, so we'll let that cook, and we'll go do something else. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare a potato. Now this is a two-person, this is a two-person potato, no doubt about it, unless you want leftovers. But I'm going to share it with my wife. Isn't that great? So I cut it in half, just like that. Now look at that. See how flaky and tender that is? Not hard, like a raw potato. So I cook it, cut it in half. One plate, two plates. And I cut this in half. And cut it into sections. And give it a better view. Just like that. See, it's real flaky. Real tender. Like that. So you cut this half in half again. And then you cut it into sections. See how the skin peels off of there? That means it's really, really cooked. That's what you want. It's not raw. There you go. Now what I'm going to do to serve this, I'm going to place the spinach and the carrots on top, but before I do that, I'm going to divide this a little bit. Make a Grand Canyon in there. So I'm going to take some of the spinach right in the middle. Half and half, share these. I'm sharing this with my wife. I put a few carrots in there. Oops. Carrot rolled off the plate. Has a little color in there. Now this is what I do. You can do whatever you want. Some people put butter, but uh, 
If you don't want a uh, pileup of your platelets in your arteries, then I just use um, salad dressing, Italian dressing. I have this dressing I got out of the refrigerator. Not much left in it. So I'm going to use the rest of it. It's Romano cheese. So I pour that over the top. Just like that. That's all going to soak into that hot potato. And there you have it. A microwave potato from Dickie Thomas's online theater. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.